You've seen the rest. Now we're going to show you the best. Ma Rainey just showed her black bottom. Yeah, Viola Davis showed her butt out. And so did uh, Chadwick Boseman. Oh, yes, yes, yes. We got ourselves a little <laughs> movie review. Getting ready to hit y'all in just a second. Play our music. System, my day one, the one who holds it down for me, my co host Daria. Say what's up, Daria. What's up, Daria? And welcome to the Kaiju Cinematic Destruction, our movie review show for the channel. If you just heard up at the beginning of this video, we're doing us some Ma Rainey's Black Bottom. But before we get started, y'all know the drill. If you'd like to see this channel continue to grow and thrive, please make sure to subscribe to us. Hit the bell icon so you can get some actual notifications for everything. Like any of the content that you do enjoy because that does help us. And comment down below because we do like to hear from you, our Kaiju faithful, and also because, you know, the metrics and everything, the you know, likes and comments and YouTube. Anyway, <laughs> yes, yes, let's get it started. Uh, anyway, we got ourselves Ma Rainey's Black Bottom, a an adaptation of the August Wilson uh, play, which is kind of an adaptation of the real life Ma Rainey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, because uh, th th there have been a couple of things here before. Like, for instance, uh, Bessie came out in 2015, which wasn't technically about Ma Rainey, but it was about yeah. the relationship between, I think, Bessie Smith. I, I know I'm freaking that name up. And Ma Rainey, because uh, yeah. I know it featured uh, Monique and Queen Latifah in it. Yes. Uh, you know, five years old. Uh, yeah. But now we got this one right here with Viola Davis playing uh, the titular Ma Rainey and also Chadwick Boseman playing uh, a character named Levy. And it's basically just about this one day in recording in Chicago on a hot ass day. A hot ass day. Yes. In and, and Chicago. Yes, yeah. yes, 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 yes. Now this this is a movie with a lot of a lot of very good things. Uh I would recommend that you also uh watch the little 30 minute um, you know, explainer and behind the scenes look that they have on Netflix as well, because it really does give a lot of nice detail, a lot of, a lot of nice, you know, little uh ins and out of the ins and outs of the movie uh the actors and what went into making uh this almost what was it like almost an hour and a half almost yeah. 100 minute yeah, almost. Right, time, yeah. right around there yeah. um they, they really grow into uh, a lot of great detail for this but yes it's just a simple one day in the life of and it really just brings everything together uh i absolutely freaking loved this yeah <laughs> i did too and sadly i think this was uh chadwick boseman's last movie it was it was this, this was the last one yes yeah yeah because we saw the uh the trailer for it uh after you know uh after we heard about you know chadwick Be boseman's passing and yeah. it was very very sad and we've been kind of expecting this just to see you know what was going through him uh through his mind through uh not his final days but you know yeah. on the last project that he was on just yeah. just the stuff that he would go through and again it's the reason why i say you should definitely watch that little 30 minute yeah uh, behind they, the scenes they cut. definitely describe what he went through for this character and you could tell when you watch the movie and it's yeah holy crap yeah, he put his all into yeah. this crap and he yeah. was incredible in this uh as we said viola davis was amazing of playing course. uh ma rainey because she soaked into the role so well that i didn't even notice it was her I until didn't either until one scene a uh, one scene uh with between her and levy where the viola davis came out uh, it yeah. was like there you are yeah there i think we are. both said that at the same time too like oh well there's viola davis right yep, there there it is there it is i see it i see it but yeah like like uh everybody this was this was a nice little period piece but basically um it, it really uh describes uh, what what's going on in the minds of black people during that time? Uh, the great my uh, the actual uh, the tail end of the great migration. Yeah, uh, moving from the south up to uh, the Jim Crow South up to the north, expecting a lot of 
uh, opportunities, a lot of job opportunities, a lot of uh, chances for uh, advancement and, and, you know, personhood. But as we know in America, it was not that easy. It was not. It, it, was, was, it was not it, that easy. It was not. It was rough. This is something that I wish we learned more about. See, this is where I like to do my little research. Okay. Because, you know, we didn't really learn this in school. Uh, not, not to the level that we not to the level have. that we should have. Like, and we do it's that stuff on our own. <laughs> yeah, and it's unfortunate because, of course, whenever they do Black History Month, the only people that we're going to be told about is like a Luther few Day. figures yeah. and just like this one period of time. And and one everything period was time, fine, and everything was fine after that. Like, it, like basically, we're taught Rosa Parks started the civil rights. That's basically what we're taught. Yeah, and 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 that's it. That's all we're given. That's all we're taught. And it's more to it. It wasn't just her. And Ma Rainey, who I briefly knew about until I saw this movie and then just, dug just into small, it. Small little yes. About yeah. So the mother she, of the blues. It's the mother of the blues. She actually started the blues. If you want me to be I might be wrong. That's fine. <laughs> but <laughs> I feel like she started, she was the mother blues. I feel like she started the blues. She, she really brought in that crossover. Cause isn't the blues kind of like that crossover of gospel and soul or no? Yeah. 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 The, the secularism yeah. of soul, uh, uh, in rhythm and blues and, and uh, gospel you know, music. Gospel yeah. Music. Cause you know, a lot of people not really with the blues because of that. Or at least yeah. during that time. During you know, that time, you know, yeah. You oh, couldn't have no. that secular. I mean, yeah. like, it, it's it's actually part of our family history, too, as yeah. well. Just, you know, uh, uh, what was it? Uh, Ollie, uh, Ollie and the Nightingales? Yeah. Yeah, you know, that that mix of the soul and gospel, you know, blending together. That was, that was you know, so yeah. so we, we got that. So this this really kind of fed the soul it did. a little bit. It just did. to be like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we get that. We understand that. Yeah. We, we see the and appeal. We see... Where it's all coming from. Yeah, we saw where it came from. We saw where it started. We saw how they intertwined the two and how we how we got the blues yeah. and how Ma Rainey really brought that for everybody else to come out and do the blues yeah. themselves. Yeah, this this movie was really detailing. This she's at the twilight of her career. Yeah, because we say we got Bessie Smith coming up uh, yeah. as as the new blood uh, showing up. Yeah, because and- Bessie. Was technically on her little tail because yeah, on that her was her tail. competition. But like at the same time, she's yeah. like throughout the whole movie, she never really treated her like her competition. No. Like, I don't care no. about what Bessie doing. It's like right. y'all want me to come up from Alabama. I have my own little tour down in the right. south. Y'all want me to come up from the south and here to Chicago to lay yeah. some records down. And it really also showed the uh, the sinister nature of the music industry at that time for a lot of black artists. And it really lasted for a while it because because. Uh, Levy's character is is trying to have his own band, trying to make yeah. his own music, trying to do his own thing. But like he let himself get uh get wrapped up in this, get wrapped up in yeah. a lot of that, and it's what it's what happened in the music industry for for decades because everybody remembers Pat Boone and uh Little Richard. Yeah, yeah, we 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 know that. Yeah. But anyway, uh, it, 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 oh sorry, just cut no, you off, no, because because another thing that I really like with this movie. Okay, you know black folk will stay in they they lane right, especially. I mean, at that time. Yeah. At that time, yeah. At that time. Especially when... You're going to put that caveat right there. Yeah. At that time, especially with the, the white folk. I'm sorry to say the that. white folk. Yeah, I'm sorry I to say that. Whenever you say, whenever you say that, it's it's hilarious. To me. I, I yeah, that. I'm just saying. But but I loved how Ma Rainey was not playing with them. Oh, yeah. Even, even when... I don't want to be any spoilers, but it might be a spoiler. Even when she had her little accident... And the guy That's was trying to, well, yeah. and the guy was trying to come from her. I loved how she stood up to him and was like, "And hey, what else you got to say?" Because that ain't what happened. <laughs> yeah. And I was just like, "Uh, Ma, you know we're in Chicago, nineteen, yeah, my nineteen thirties, nineteen end of nineteen twenties, nineteen thirties. It was it was before it was before the twenties. Like, However, the hell it goes, lynching black folk is still legal. <laughs> So yeah, I'm gonna need you to calm that down a bit. She did not calm that down one bit. Yeah. Even talking to the managers who were getting her on the show and who wanted her. It was like, no, I she was this like, is I'm, not, I'm old. Yes. This and you're gonna is, give you it want to me, me for this. I don't right. I didn't come to you. Yeah, you came you for me. me so for since this. you came for me, 
you are gonna give me what I want. Yeah, give me what I'm owed. But anyway, let's 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 let's, let's go ahead and yeah. jump right into it because this, as we said, we we loved this movie. <laughs> I could just keep gushing on this it. movie. Yeah. yeah, this was this was absolutely great. I loved it. Uh, so let's just jump right into four stars. What? Hell, I might even give it five. Sorry. So which one is it? <laughs> just say five. I'm pretty sure it had its issues, but I mean, damn. Okay, so you, you, you're good with the five. I'm good with the five. You're good with the five. Because uh, whatever issues it was, you... you... I, I Okay, so so let me let me jump into mine. Go for it. I couldn't find no issues. I, I really couldn't find uh, any any major issues with storytelling, uh, with with the way it was framed. Uh, there were a few things that kind of took you out of uh, the movie, like some stylistic choices here and there, but it never really, like, stopped the movie yeah. in any way it never really gave it uh gave it pause uh like there, there was a there was a scene where one of the characters is talking about you know how how black people are the leftovers and then they had like a little like little segue yeah. uh which kind of like took you out of the narrative of it being just one day and not like you know straight up stage play but it never really stopped the movie it was just a nice little touch uh but it does kind of like take you out just a minor amount um but beyond that, I, I really can't think of, of of anything without, you know, going too too deep and spoiling anything. Yeah. Ooh, so I'm yeah. good. I'm good with a five star uh for this one right here. This yeah. was this was this was awesome. I loved this movie. I was expecting um I was expecting very good things out of it because I saw who was uh who was producing it, I saw uh who was directing it, I saw who was all gonna be inside of it, and everything about this movie was just the tits. It it for was me. Uh, but yeah, uh, I, I loved it. Uh, Ma Rainey, as we said, showed her black bottom yeah. and just showed out, and it was showed great. her natural born all the way to the to the white meat don't show. To the white meat don't show. She you, showed all you, of that, you, baby. You, you flubbed that up. I don't care. We're gonna I move on. Flub that. We're gonna move on. We're gonna move on. We're gonna move on. Tell us what you thought about Ma Rainey's black bottom down in the comments below because we do like to hear from you, Akaji faithful. Also, head on over. To patreon.com slash yokaiju where you can get updates on the site, the store, the channel. Also get some exclusive content whenever we drop uh new videos. Uh get that hit Patreon before they hit YouTube. Yes, yes, yes. We got we got all that and... good stuff. And also head on over to hillkaiju.com slash shop where you can get merch you know, like this and like that right there. You know, get get some new merch because we also have new hats. Not 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 screen printed, straight up like embroidered, yes. Some good, good style we got for y'all. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Hope you had a blessed and beloved holiday and Christmas. Catch y'all later. Deuces. Bye.